Hello students, so now we are going to see a numerical which is based on the polar curves. So here, uh, I'll take one polar curve and we'll find out length of that curve using the concept of rectification. So now here, we have to find out the length of cardioid which is r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta lying outside the circle r equal to a cos theta. So guys, before starting the solution of this, I'm sure that you have seen my previous video where I've covered the different types of cardioid and the equations of the cardioid. As well as I've covered the different types of circles and its equation in the previous video. So we will use that concept over here. So first of all, we have the equation of the cardioid as r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta and we have to find out length of that cardioid which is lying outside the circle. So first we need to draw it. So let's understand what is the shape of that given cardioid. So guys, on the screen you can see there are four types of cardioid which I have covered in the previous video. So this equation is given. So it means our cardioid will look like this. So this side will be 2a, this side will be a and a. So first of all I will draw this shape for r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta. So guys, on the screen, you can see that I've drawn the cardioid. Now I'll draw the circle. So R equal to A cos theta. So guys, I've covered that circle in the previous video. So here, I'll show the equation. So R equal to 2A cos theta is a circle which lies on the x-axis. So this total diameter is 2A. Now here, we have R equal to A cos theta. It means the diameter will be A. So here I'll draw it. So guys, here I've drawn a random circle. So for this, this will be a by 2 and this will be a because we have a circle r equal to a cos theta. So this diameter will be a. Now guys, here the question is we have to find the length of cardioid that is the length of this cardioid which is lying outside this circle. So the region which is lying outside the circle starts from here and it goes till this point. So we have to find out this length. So let's start. So guys, to find it out as the equation is given in the polar form, I am going to use the formula of rectification which is given in the polar form. So we know the uh, formula to find out the length of curve which is given by so guys we'll use this equation to find out the length of curve now if i have to solve this given function and if i want to find out the integration then first of all i should know the limits of the integration now guys if you will observe this area this region for which i want to find out the length of a curve then here at this point i need to find out the value of theta because from there my theta will start and what i can do is i can find out theta at this point or i'll find theta here i'll find theta here so i'll join this line So guys at this point I need to find out what is the value of theta then this line will move till here and here I will get the value of theta as pi. So we can say that let's say this is a point B and this is a point A. So what I will do is I will find out the length of curve from A to B or arc AB. So I will get length of arc AB and whatever length I am getting I will just multiply it by 2 because the region which is lying below the x axis is exactly symmetric to this AB. So whatever is the value of this, I'll double it so that I'll get the length of the complete curve. So let's start. So at this point, I know theta is pi. So my upper limit will become pi. But at this point, I don't know what is the value of theta. 
So let's find out that value of theta. So guys, to get that value, you can see that the given point is the point of intersection of two curves. One is circle and one is cardioid. So let's find out the point of intersection. Now, how do we find the point of intersection? So it's very easy. We substitute one equation in the other equation to get the point of intersection. So guys, right now I have two equations. R equal to A cos theta, R equal to A into 1 minus cos theta. So what I'll do is I'll put R equal to A cos theta in the equation of cardioid. So if I put A cos theta here, we will get therefore A cos theta equal to this will be a into 1 minus cos theta. Now we can cancel a on both sides. Next, minus cos theta will go there. That will become positive cos theta. So we'll get 2 times cos theta equal to 1. And we'll get cos theta equal to half. So if cos theta is half, then what is the value of theta? So it's simple the value of theta is pi by 3 so here I'll say it is 60 degree because we know that cos of 60 is half so the value of theta is pi by 3 so here I got the value of theta so it means at this point the value of theta is pi upon 3 so guys this will become my limit now we want r square so r square I'll make the square of this now guys there are two equations but I am using the equation of cardioid the reason is I have to find out the length of cardioid. So I will use this equation for getting the value of r square. Next to get dr by d theta the whole square I need to differentiate this r with respect to theta. So let's do that. So we will get here s as integration from pi upon 3 to pi under root. r square will be a square into 1 minus cos theta the whole square plus now we have dr by d theta so I need to differentiate r with respect to theta so a will remain as it is derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of cos theta is negative sine theta so that will become positive so it means I will get a sine theta as the value of dr by d theta. So I'll square that a sine theta and we will get a square sine square theta into d theta. Now we'll simplify this. So from these two terms, I can take a square common and the root of a square is a. So that will come outside. So we'll get a integration from pi by 3 to pi under root I'll expand this here we'll get 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta that is the expansion of this bracket plus sine square theta d theta now sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so 1 and 1 if I'll add it, I'll get 2. So 2 minus 2 cos theta I'll get. Again from that, I can take 2 outside. So root 2 will come outside. So here I'll say S is square root of 2 into A integration pi by 3 to pi under root 1 minus cos theta d theta. Now here we'll substitute the formula of 1 minus cos theta which is 2 sine square theta upon 2. So guys, that two, uh, 2 sine square theta upon 2 if I take a square root will become root 2 into sine theta by 2 so that root 2 will come outside so here we'll get s as 2a integration pi by 3 to pi and sine theta upon 2 d theta next let's evaluate this so s will be 2a now for sin theta upon 2 we have to find out integration which is negative cos theta by 2. So here I will write which is negative cos theta upon 2 upon half and from pi by 3 to pi. Now this half this 2 will go here that will become 4a. So s equal to 4a and in the bracket 
I'll substitute this upper limit as pi. So cos of pi upon 2 that is cos 90 is 0. Then middle side negative. Then we'll put the lower limit that is pi by 3. So that will become cos of pi by 6. So that is nothing but negative cos of pi by 6. Next cos of pi by 6 that is cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. So we will get 4a into root 3 by 2 and by cancelling this 2 we will get 2 root 3a. So guys this is the length of the arc AB. Now the question is we have to find out the length of complete cardioid so I will multiply this by 2 as I have explained you earlier. So if I multiply this by 2 we will get 4 root 3a. So here I will say therefore the total length is equal to 4 into root 3 into a. So 4 root 3a is the final answer. So guys I am sure that you understood how I got the answer. So you just have to apply the same process in the examination to get the answer. Only the difference will be sometimes they might change the question. Sometimes you will get some different equation of cardio of the circle. You just have to draw the things and then follow the same procedure. So don't forget to subscribe to Ekira channel and follow to the channel because here you will get the knowledge about all engineering subject under one roof. Thank you very much.